Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to edit a photo from Archie Brown. He's a subscriber, sent me an email, asked me if I could do something to his image, which I've done. I've sent him the result and he asked me how I did it. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I did it. All right guys, this is the original image. Let me show you guys the end result real quick. So this is the image that we're going to create starting from here so once more this is the original and this will be the end result all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to deselect the snapshot and let's start working on this image uh, the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to change some basic adjustments as you can see the image is not very properly exposed but we're going to change that so i'm going to drag the exposure to the right to brighten it up just a little bit just to make sure we don't crush the colors and I'm going to change the black level increase it a little bit to add some more contrast another thing that I'm going to do is add the contrast manually by about 0 dot well 12 in this case and then I'm going to close this one down because that's all I'm going to do with the basic adjustments uh, module now what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop it so I'm going to search for the crop module going to activate that one and I'm going to put this automatic cropping yes and I'm going to use the freehand and change it to 16 to 9 I'm going to move this around a little bit and I'm going to double click it now this still doesn't look like this image so we're going to change uh, the aspect ratio so I'm going to use the freehand and I'm just going to bring this in I'm going to make sure that he is on the rules of thirds line so I'm going to bring this one down just a little bit. There we go. There we go. So this is the image. Now what I want to do is I want to use a different module. I'm going to use the RGB curve module. So we're going to search that one up. I'm going to uh, activate it. I'm just going to play around with it and see what looks good. So I'm going to increase the midtones a little bit. Maybe increase the highlights as well. Now that's a little bit too much. And I'm keeping an eye on the histogram. Uh, apart from the fact that I just want this to be pleasing to the eye the thing is that your monitor might be different than my monitor your settings might be different so if you want to address this scientifically you need to keep an eye out on the histogram otherwise just look at the screen and see what looks best for you I think this looks uh, pretty fine it's still a little bit dull but we're going to change that by using the local contrast module so now we've added some contrast and Let's see how this looks on 150%. This is far too strong in my opinion. Let's place it back to 100. That's a little bit too less. So I'm going to place it back to 125%. I'm not going to change anything else. Because this is raw image, I want to change the sharpening of this image as well. So we're going to look for the sharper module. And usually what I do is I put my modules in my favorites menu. But in this tutorial I didn't because I want to show you guys that you can easily search up the modules and then find them and start working with them. So here's an uh, after, let me click it, here's a before. So look at his face, you'll see some changes. So I'm going to activate it right now. There you go, and now the image is already a lot more sharp. So let me close that one down. And now what I want to do is I want to address the reds because somehow in this image, they are standing out far too much for my taste. And I'm going to show you guys a very dirty way to decrease the reds in this image. So for that, we need the color zones module. So let me activate that one. I want to target the reds, but I only want to target the reds over here. There's a couple of ways to do this. You can use a parametric mask and search out the pixels, use the color picker and stuff like that. But I'm just going to use a brush, paint over it, and then bring it down in this area specifically and leave everything else intact. So for that, what we need to do is we need to click the symbol, drawn mask, and then what we need to do is we need to click this, add a brush, and I'm just going to uh, decrease it a little bit, and then I'm going to paint over here. And now you'll see that we've only got one mask, and uh, if we want to add another mask, all you gotta do is hit the control button or command on Mac, click the brush, and then paint over the other areas that you want to affect. So I'm going to use one more which is over here, there you go. Let's say you want to decrease the feathering of this mask. What you need to do is press the shift button and then scroll the mouse wheel button away from you and you see that it's now starting to decrease. And this is still original, let me decrease that one. 
just a little bit as well. There we go. I'm going to click the symbol because I don't want to see the masks, but I am going to change the saturation. So I'm going to drop this one down. I'm going to bring this one back up to the center. And now you see that the reds are less red. Let me show you guys before and after. So here's a before. The reds are standing out too much for my taste. Once more, now they are a little bit more dull. I'm going to use another instance because I want to give some color to his face. So I'm going to use the drawn mask again. I'm going to use the ellipse. I'm going to place it on his face and I'm going to decrease the size a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to increase the saturation in the reds. Just enough so that his face will look a little bit more natural and healthy. Let me see how that looks. So uh, here's a before and here's an after. There you see that he's got a lot more color and basically what it looks like is the sun is over here and it's shining on his face. So I really like this look. Another thing that I want to do is I want to change the contrast overall. So I'm going to use another color zones module. I'm just going to bring this one up a little bit. So now we've added some contrast to the image. Let's go to the denoise module. I'm going to use the denoise profile one. So I'm going to activate that one and I'm going to use two instances. So we've got one instance and two instances and I'm going to use the preset. So I'm going to use this one on the first one and I'm going to use this on the second one. Please keep in mind though that Todd Pryor, uh, who built me this version of Darktable 3.0, told me that there is a new module as well. Let me show you guys. So just updated Darktable last night and the old Denoise presets are gone already. So save them if you want to keep them. Only one now called Basic Start. There's a new denoising module as well. Crazy how much and how fast Darktable is changing and evolving. Thank you very much for the tip, Todd. Uh, I don't have the newest build just yet, so that's why I'm using the Denoise Profile module. But for everybody else, remember that there's a new module, so try to figure out. I might make a video about it, but for now, this is what we're going to use. So, And we've added some denoising. Now let me show you guys the original. So we're going back to the orientation one, and this is the image that we started with. And now if I click it, and there you go, Archie, this one was especially for you. I hope you liked this episode. If you guys got any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. And that's it for this video. And that's it for this week. I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Did you know that you can now either buy me a coffee or become a patron of this channel? By doing so, you can personally help me grow my channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop in a video. And until next time, doei!